what is it that is to be surrendered to God? What does he want from us? What is he looking for? One thing that is our mind. God says, give me your mind. Offer your mind to me. I am not interested in the bodily acts. Man eva manushyanam karanam bandha mokshaya. The Panchadashi states, the cause of bondage and liberation is the mind. Chetaha khalvasya bandhaya muktaye chatmano matam guneshu saktam bandhaya ratam va punsi muktaye. In the Bhagavata, Maharshi Kapil told his mother Devahuti that if the mind is attached to the world, it will cause bondage and the mind attached to God will cause liberation. So we need to offer our mind to God. That is the one thing we did not do. The fact that you are sitting here and hearing this discourse, you have this interest in you, is an indication of your good devotional sanskars. You have engaged in devotion in the past. And that has resulted in this tendency towards devotion that you are manifesting at the present. So in past many lives, we did all the japas, we did all the pujas, we did all the part, we went to the tirthyatras, but we did not attach the mind. We were doing the arti and the mind, we were thinking, my child is crying there. We were doing the japa and we were thinking, my neighbor, I hope he's not breaking the flowers in my garden. We were going on tirthyatra and thinking, there are too many flies here and this rickshaw wala is a cheat and the hotel wala is a demon. In other words, we left the mind in the world and we engaged the body. Once one father-in-law was sitting in his worship room, when the neighbor came, the daughter-in-law opened. So, the guest, neighbor, he asked, Can I speak to your father-in-law? So she said, No, at present he is busy arguing with the cobbler. Now the father-in-law was hearing the words, went into the worship room, he came out indignant. He asked the daughter-in-law that, what are you saying? I am arguing with the cobbler, I am busy in that, I was sitting in my puja room. She said, yes, father, you were. But you inquired three times, disrupting your puja, has the cobbler come with my shoes or not? Your mind was there in the cobbler, you were only doing the physical act. God says, that is, will not lead to God realization. You give me your mind. The world sees the acts. God sees the mind. Let us say that there is a politician who has come and you have gone as is customary, you have offered a garland of flowers. But you are thinking that this rogue from the opposition party, I wish I could offer him a flower of shoes, garland of shoes. Now God is noting, you have offered him a garland of shoes. But Swamiji, I offered him a garland of flowers. That's all right, but what was the thought in your mind? That thought is important. You were thinking, I wish I could offer shoes. That is what created or destroyed your personality, not the action. That is what God has noted. That is what we need to correct. The world doesn't care. The world sees the externals. If somebody has come to your house and you see him from afar, Oh, Sharma Ji has come. But he will eat my head for one hour and I'll have to spend money in 
giving him the snacks. This is your internal thought. Why did he come? But then you realize that your file is in his office and you cannot displease him. So with that idea, you went up to the door. Are Sharma ji, what kind of a friend are you? You never show your face. You should come here more often. Listen, make some halwa puri and bring it for him. Now Sharma ji doesn't know what that Mishra ji is thinking. So he thinks, oh, Mishra ji loves me so much. He's seen the externals. Now if we were to do that with God, that with your mouth you say, Man karu sumiran, Radhe rani ke charan. And with your mind you think, Swamiji, you are continuing to speak, this is giving me tension. God will say, you never did any kirtan. Never did any kirtan, but I was singing along with Swamiji for 10 minutes. That's right, but where was your mind? That is what God was noting. So, God sees within. Actually, the intention is also important to the world. If Sharma ji came to know that Mishra ji is thinking this nuisance is going to wait, waste my one hour, he will never step into the house again. But people in the world are not all knowing. They do not know what the other is thinking. That is why this world is running somehow or the other. If everything became re revealed, everyone would start fighting with the other. My brother thinks like this. My business partner thinks in this manner. My wife, my husband, this is what they really think about me. The whole world would have started fighting and would have destroyed each other. But the world, whatever it is, however it is running, in the spiritual realm, we need to correct ourselves from within. The cause of bondage and liberation is the mind. We need to offer the mind to God.